So I guess they're calling this one the second trailer of Guardians of the Galaxy, but like I saw it and I was like, yes, 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 yes. I I did not I was not expecting uh them to bring out a trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy 2 again. They just had a teaser trailer for it. And that's not even the first trailer. That's just the teaser trailer of it. I didn't I think this was going to be the first real trailer, but they're going to call it trailer 2. Anyway, Let's watch this thing. Yes, fuck yeah. The fate of the universe lies on your shoulders. Now, whatever you do, holy shit! Don't push this button because that will set off the bomb immediately, and we'll all be dead. Now, repeat back what I just said. I agree. No. Now that's the button that will kill everyone. Try again. I am Groot. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. Uh-huh. I am Groot. No! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's cute, man. That's funny. And cute. Showtime, a-holes. Oh my god. <laughs> Does anybody have any tape out there? I want to put some tape over the death button. Nobody has any tape. Not a single person has tape. You have an atomic bomb in your bag. If anybody's going to have tape, it's you. I have to do everything. You are wasting a lot of time. <laughs> That's a really bad sign. <laughs> oh my god. If I touch someone, I can feel their feelings. You feel love. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I feel a general unselfish love for just about everybody. No, sexual love. No, no, I don't. For her. No. <laughs> she just told everyone your deepest, darkest secret. Dude, come on. I think you're overreacting a little bit. You must be so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> do me. Do me. Do me. <laughs> oh, it's funny, man. For the most part, um, I actually, I, first of all, I love that ending. That ending was pretty damn funny to me. Um, anyway, for the most part, I've, I've, Stick by what I said. Uh, I've, I think, I don't know the exact words that I use, but either way, I'm going to say now, I am so excited for this movie. This movie, to me, looks amazing. I, I the, the first Guardians of the Galaxy took me by surprise. I, it, took everyone, it took everybody by surprise. No one knew what they were walking into when they saw Guardians of the Galaxy. All they knew is that they threw in the name Chris Pratt from Parks and Recreation. That's enough to sell a movie. Uh, Vin Diesel, Bradley Cooper... Cooper, I'm sorry, uh, Dave Batista and Zoe Saldana, so that, the cast, in other words, sorry, I don't know how to say her last name, but uh, the cast of the movie, all you do is you throw in those big movie stars, and you got yourself, and, and also throw on the word Marvel, and you throw yourself, and people will throw themselves at that movie, they'll just, they'll throw money right at Marvel, it's amazing. Additionally, they haven't shown too much, that's good, they have not shown uh, Kurt Russell's thing whatever uh, role he's going to be playing. I have a feeling, I actually, I know pretty much exactly what Kurt Russell is playing in the movie, but uh, they're keeping it a surprise. That's very good. That's amazing. That is something that, um, that they, uh, <clears throat> let's see, I, I think of Batman v Superman. Remember that one trailer when they showed Doomsday and everybody was so upset that they showed Doomsday and then I had a feeling, I had this feeling that if they never showed Doomsday to begin with, that they might have, uh, it might have been actually a pleasant surprise to see Doomsday, even though uh, Doomsday, you know, we all know how I feel about Doomsday. But anyway, uh, they haven't shown too much. Okay, that's that's good. That's what I want to see. Now, I'm also going to stick to my guns on this, but a little bit less. I'm going to take my finger off the trigger a little bit. Uh, I thought Baby Groot was hilarious. He was cute, adorable, funny, and yet he's still going to be badass. That's good enough for me. I still think... Yeah, I wanted to turn into regular Groot um, very soon in the movie, but I seriously highly doubt, given how much footage there is of Baby Groot, 
unless they show a montage, unless there's like a, a significant amount of time skipped ahead in the movie, then uh, I think they're going to keep Baby Groot in the whole movie. But I, I hope they go back to regular Groot. I don't know. Uh, now that you can tell now that Marvel is owned by Disney, because pretty much every character uh, in like like uh, like an animated Disney, like a princess movie, a Disney princess movie, any character um, that is an adult isn't like as cute as they would make a a baby or a toddler, a dog, an animal, or a non-human but still sentient thing. So, for example, Baby Groot. Uh, he's, he's also like a toddler, non-human thing. So they, of course, they have to just push the boundaries, boundaries with how cute he is. Rocket is probably the exception, but he's still, I mean, come on, just look at him. He's got the little, you know, he's, oh, he's just so cute. Nevertheless, I'm excited for this movie. Marvel just, Marvel just keeps pumping it out. They just keep pumping out good movies. They have their spacing right, so there's like, there's a significant amount of wait time for, for each film, uh, in between films. And it's it's not too long, but it's also not enough to be like, yeah, okay, Marvel's run, Marvel's done, time is over. They just they put out their first shitty film. The spacing is good, and all the films are good to me. So I I I have no doubt that Guardians of the Galaxy two is going to be amazing. Zero doubts. That's all I gotta say. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.